Hey all this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are going to do some more AP Physics 1 free response questions and we are looking at the topic of momentum. Now as usual I suggest you uh, pause the video, try to do the problem on your own and then come back after you've attempted the problem. Excuse me. A 2 kilogram frictionless card is moving at constant speed 3 meters per second to the right on a horizontal surface as shown above when it collides with a second cart of undetermined mass that is initially at rest. The force F of the collision is a function of time as shown on the graph below, where T is the instant of initial contact, and as a re result of the collision, the second cart acquires a speed of 1.6 meters per second to the right. Assume that friction is negligible before, during, and after the collision. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the two kilogram cart after the collision. So initially, this is sort of a, a momentum kind of question I believe um, there's a couple ways to do this one let's see what do I know I don't know the mass of this cart so that is unfortunate uh, undetermined mass as a result the second quarter requires a P speed oh I see well, so let's figure out, like, so they give us a, this interesting picture, this force time diagram. And this is help you to help you compute momentum, F delta T. Because the area under this curve is the moment, is the um, uh, impulse, okay? Now that impulse is equal to M delta V. And one of the things about this force that's acting on this collision is that it acts on both this guy and this guy the same way when they hit. Okay, so this momentum, this impulse causes a change in momentum of this guy. So let's find what this component is, this F delta, this, this, this uh, impulse. It's the area under this triangle. Uh, the base of this triangle is one millisecond. That's 10 to the minus three seconds, by the way. The height of this triangle is 10. So this is one half base times height, one times 10 to the minus three times 10, and this is kilonewtons times 10 to the 3. So if I use my calculator, cal the, the, the 3 and minus 3 cancel. So that's 5 um, kilogram meter per second. That's sort of the, the units for momentum change. So that is going to cause, um, that's equal to m delta v. So if I divide by the mass, which mass am I going to use? I'm going to use th this mass, this 2 kilogram mass, because that's what it's applying. I get delta V, and that is equal to 2.5 meters per second. So this caused a change in speed of 2.5 meters per second. So that means this, um, and, and which way is the force going? It's to the left, right, during the collision. So that means it's slowing it down by 2.5 meters per second. That means its final velocity is only 0.5 meters per second. Because if I was at 3 and I subtract 2.5, then I'm at 0.5. Okay, calculate the mass of the second cart. So now I can, now that I know sort of the initial and final velocities, I can calculate by conservation of momentum. I can say, well, for the first cart, how much momentum is before the collision? It's um, two kilograms times three meters per second. And that has to equal, sorry, my M's look really, really sloppy. Um, that has to equal the momentum after the collision. Well, the 2 kilogram is moving off at um, 0.5 meters per second. And the, the, this mass is unknown, but I know it's moving at 1.6 meters per second. So I can, my only unknown is m. I can solve for that. This is 6 equals 1 plus 1.6 m just dropping the unit so it's 5 is equal to 1.6 m so m would equal 5 divided by 1.6 um, oops let me use my calculator to get that that's 3.125 uh, kilograms after the collision the second card eventually experiences a ramp which it traverses with no frictional losses. The graph below shows the speed of the cart as a function of time for the next five seconds, where t is now the instant at which the cars separate. 
So it was going at 1.6 meters per second, then it slows down to about half a meter per second. Calculate the acceleration of the cart at t equals 3 seconds. The acceleration is the change in speed versus time, right? So um, we look at the slope here. The slope is the change. That's how acceleration works when it comes to the speed graph. This slope goes from, let's see, it goes from um, 0.5. The change in y is 0.5 minus 1.6 divided by, I don't know, what is that, 3.5 seconds minus uh, 2 seconds. This is negative uh, 1.1 divided by 1.5 seconds. Uh, this is meters per second. So that's um, minus 0.733 meters per second squared. Okay, that's the acceleration. Calculate the distance traveled by the second cart during the five second interval after the collision. So during this entire collision. Um, there's a few ways you can think about doing it. You can use it through kinematic equations, or if you know this, it's the it's technically the area under this, but let's do it through kinematics. During this time window here, the distance he travels is just velocity times time, because it's at a constant velocity. So it's one point so this this portion is one point six meters per second times two seconds. So this is three point two meters during this during this time window. And if you note, that's equal to the area of this rectangle. That makes sense. Now from 2 to 3.5 seconds, it's subject to a constant acceleration of this. So we have to use a kinematic equation, delta x equals v naught t plus 1 half a t squared, right? So this distance, its initial velocity is 1.6 meters per second times time. This duration uh, lasts 1.5 seconds. Right, because I'm going from two seconds to three point five seconds, plus one half a, that's negative point seven three three, times one point five seconds squared. Okay, so if I compute that, one point six times one point five plus point five times negative point seven three three times one point five squared. Got 1.575 meters. So during this window, it did 1.575 meters. And if you actually do this area of this rectangle, this this trapezoid, uh, you'll find that that's the case. And then at the last um, 1.5 seconds, it's going at 0.5 meters per second. So it's 0.5 meters per second times 1.5 seconds, velocity times time. So that 0 0.75, 0 0.75 meters. So if I were to sum up all the distances, it's 3.2 plus 1.575 plus 0.75, I get 5.525 meters. Okay. State whether the ramp goes up or down and calculate the maximum elevation reached by the second cart on the ramp during the five second interval. Okay, so does it go up or down? Well, the cart's moving to the right at 1.6 meters per second. Right, and then it slows down to four points. So that means it has to have been going up. That's the only way it would slow down, right? It would have to have done this. Now, what we have to think about is uh, this is not a momentum. This is an energy conservation because I had some kinetic energy and then I lost it because at the end I have less kinetic energy, and I must have lost it due a potential energy. So I'm going to do this one over here. I'm going to say, it's, well, its initial energy was one half m v squared so it's m was 3.125 kilograms and its velocity was 1.6 meters per second squared that has to equal mgh 3.125 kilograms times g times h h i don't know plus whatever kinetic energy it still has one half times 3.125 kilograms times 0.5 meters meters per second um, quantity squared, right? This is 1 half mv squared equals some potential energy plus
plus one half mv squared. The mass actually is sort of irrelevant in this problem. So um, I'm gonna do one half times 1.6 squared. I need to subtract this part, which is one half times 0.5 squared, and then I need to divide by g, 9.8 meters per second squared. That will give me h, okay? Um, so let's do that. 0 0.5, 1.6 squared, minus 0 0.5 squared, eight. I get 0 0.118 meters. Okay. All right, and that's it. Hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.